Welcome. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to track footage in Baoju and export to Cinema 4D for adding 3D elements and animations. Let's open Baoju. Click here on the Import Sequence option. Browse to your folder where you have your image sequence. Click open. Now here select the frame rate in which you shot your footage. Mine is 29.97, that's why I am selecting this. Change this number value from 1 to 0. Now hit apply. And close. You have your footage in the timeline. Go to the first frame and click on Track Features option to track automatically. Click on the Advanced button to open this Advanced Properties window. Increase just sensitivity and hit on Start to start tracking. I am going to pause the video while the tracking is going on. Tracking is over now. You can scrub through the timeline to see it. Now, click on Camera Solve button. Here, just check this both. And hit Start. Wait for a little. And you're done. Check your tracking points. Now it's time to create geometry. For that click on the scene geometry button. Here, select two points by holding control and left mouse button in the direction of X axis. And click on add coordinate from hint button. From this drop down, choose your axis and hit on connect to selected. Then click on update coordinate frame. In the same way, create Z axis. Then select a point and make it the origin. If you are not seeing the grid here, then check this box to turn on the grid. Click here to add a test object. See if your object sticks to the grid. Once you're satisfied with the results, you can export the camera tracking data. Click here. and change this export type to Cinema 4D. Browse where you want your export and hit save. Before opening the file, you must remove an error. If you don't do this, then your track points won't stick to their place. So, open this file with notepad. Go to edit and click on find next. Type minus 3.141593. Click find next. Then move up a little. Change this to plus from minus. Then copy and paste the same value here. Again go to edit and click on replace with option. Then in the find what field, type parent item. Space. One. And six zeros. Then at the end type one. 
copy and paste this value down below and change one to two. Hit replace all button. Now, open your Cinema 4D file. Click OK and close this window. Here you can see that points are sticking to their place. Unfold this. And move your camera out of this. Then delete this file. Go to Motion Tracker tab and click on the Motion Tracker. Select your image sequence and load it. Now increase the resampling to the full. Click on Create Background Object. Now delete these files except our background. In this way, we have our environment as a background. I have already made a 3D model of a train engine, which you can download it from the link given in the description. After that, import your 3D model. Now, go adjust the model according to the camera perspective and your likeness. Just play with the values. I added a ground plane to cast shadows on. Then add a compositing tag to it. Check composite background and uncheck self shadowing. Then add the same background material to this plane also. And change the projection to frontal. Add lights with soft shadows and enable ambient occlusion for a better result. Now, you're free here to add your own creativity. That's all for now. Thank you very much.